Hello guys and thank you for tuning on to Fix Your Game, I'm Hafiz and today I'll be giving you guys the fix for the original Tomb Raider 1 retail copy. Now this fix won't be running in DOSBox so therefore DOSBox is not required at all. It's a fully fledged Windows version running in Windows environment. So the fix basically includes the major ones like missing soundtracks, fixes the level 10 secret bug, it also has the widescreen and multi-monitor support at a draw distance plus the PS1 water coloration which you can enable or disable. The FMVs will also not have interlace on them and as for bonus I've included unfinished business expansion pack. So if you guys are still interested keep on watching and I promise you guys this will be a very very easy fix. So let's get started. So the first step is to insert your CD-ROM into your CD drive. Second step is to create a folder anywhere on your PC and name it to whatever you want. An example over here, I create Tomb folder. Third step is to access your Tomb Raider CD-ROM files and copy two folders which is the data and FMV. Copy both of them into the folder that you just created. And the fourth step is to download the fix that I've given in the description. There are two links that have been provided. One is located on my OneDrive and the other one is on my Google Drive. For the OneDrive, just left click or right click to download. And as for the Google Drive, just click on the download tab on the top right hand corner of your browser. Then click on download anyway. Both links contains the same files, so just download either one. Once you have downloaded that, extract the folder in the zip file onto your desktop or anywhere you prefer. Once extracted, open up the folder and copy all the files in there and paste it into the folder that you just created. It will overwrite the level 10c file which is fine because that's part of the fix. Once all of that is done, first of all you need to check if you have Visual C++ Redistributable 2015 installed on your PC. To do that, open up the VC Redis folder that I've provided and run both setups. Make sure it indicate failed due to higher version installed. Remember, you have to run both setups in order to avoid any DLL errors. If it says fail, then you are good to go or else let the installer run and once the installation completes you do not have to restart the computer. So now you are all set, click on tombati.exe to play Tomb Raider 1 or if you want to play Unfinished Business go to the Unfinished Business folder and click on tombub.exe. I've also created a readme.txt for you guys to further tweak the game up to your preferences. So please do check it out before asking me in the comments. So to convince you guys further that this is not a virus or whatsoever, I'm going to launch the tomb.exe to prove to you that it's actually working. Okay, so that's enough for Tomb Raider 1, let's launch Unfinished Business.
now as you can see all the options are working fine and it plays fine in, in fact it plays much more better than the dust box version there's no input lag or whatsoever now as you can see in this level that the water effects the color of the water is actually the original pc version if you don't like the PC version color and you prefer the PS1 version, check out the readme on how to actually change the color. I've included it over there for both Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider Unfinished Business. Yes, you can use the PlayStation 1 water color. So this is it guys. Uh, thank you for watching Fix Your Games and I hope that this is the best fix you can find ever. It's all in one package, especially for the retail owners. Just copy and paste and you're done. Boom. But if you want me to fix under the DOS box version, please let me know. And also for the Steam or GOG, whichever version, uh, especially for Tomb Raider 1, please do let me know. In the meantime, enjoy raiding the tombs. Peace out.